guys, and welcome to the final game of the installment, or of the series, uh, that I've been doing for the last two years on this channel. Anyway, I'm Mastrath, and I welcome you to this. Yeah, Sierra presents... With that sh rocket that doesn't really look much like a rocket, but regardless. Welcome, folks! Finally! To Space Quest 6, Roger Wilco in the Spinal Frontier. The final game in the Space Quest series is like they knew this was going to be the final game of the series. Even though they did try to do adverts for a Space Quest 7, which was in production but was never made. Anyway, Space Quest 6 carries on from Space Quest 5, where Roger Wilco uh, was able to save not only his own garbage scow, but also one of Starcon's biggest and best. Uh, ships the Goliath from certain doom How will Captain Roger Wilco's story change? You know, I mean that was a brilliant accomplishment You know, he must have gone up in the world at Starcon. Let's find out Starting a new game The Starcon Federation has reached its decision Roger Wilco, please step forward Roger Wilco, you have been judged guilty of the following crimes. Abandoning your post. Deviating from mission parameters. Misuse of Starcon property. Disintegrating a fellow officer. Perpetrating a sequel without authorization. And consorting with a female of higher rank. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we pronounce sentence? Uh... Can't you guys take a joke? Do you have anything intelligent to say for yourself before we pronounce sentence? Uh... Nope. Very well. It is the opinion of this tribunal that as punishment for your crimes against the Star Confederation, you are to be decommissioned. You are hereby stripped of the rank of captain. You are no longer an officer of the Star Confederation. Your enrollment at Star Con Academy is hereby terminated. However, Due to your successful return of the SCS Eureka, your rescue of the Goliath's crew, and the fact that nobody gets rid of stubborn mildew stains and black heel marks as well as you do, we are returning you to your former post with Star Conflict. You are hereby ordered to resume your duties immediately as janitor second class on board the SCS Deep Ship 86. Attention all hands. This is your commander speaking. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your fine performance during our recent episode, A Stitch in Time Saves Gamma 9. So, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As a gesture of appreciation, we're putting in for shore leave on polysorbate 60. Enjoy yourselves, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Kilbasa out. Meanwhile, in a deserted warehouse just outside the galaxy... I don't care how you do it, gentlemen, so long as his body is intact. Do you understand? Yes, we got it. Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes, right. Good. Now, I believe you'll find him here, on Polysorbate 60, on a shore. Okay, I'm ready. Energize! As we join our hero, Roger Wilco, he has just been transported to the surface of Polysorbate 60 to enjoy a little shore leave. Apparently, there was a minor glitch in the process. Well, at least you got here with all your important parts, your hands, your mouth, and your stomach. Oh, great. Real wonderful. Nice beam job, you metallic piece of scrap. Jeez, this is snug. Real snug. Hmm. You know, it actually makes me feel kind of good. I, I remember when I used to wear my mom's a... Well, never mind. No time for nostalgia. I've got a serious extraction problem to work out first. And with that, we are in the game after a long plot. So, yeah, Roger's taken a bit of a step back since Space Quest V. Um, he's now back to being a bleeding janitor again. So, no serious Roger in this installment. No, we're back to normal. Uh, second off, Gary Owens is back for the, uh, well, for, uh, for, for more talking, for more narration for this game. Um, as you can see, the game's taken on a bit more of a graphic overhaul. There are sort of 3D things here, like this guy. Hey, that one has some legs. They're kind of spindly, but you sure have no room to criticize. I don't have any legs myself. Hey, that one looks familiar. It lacks a bit in the stature department, though. Kind of looks like a bin, I guess, or something like that. Also, yes, our new, you could say, the, the new ship we're on as a janitor is, is shaped like pants. Yes. Anyway, let's just grab this guy. Hang on. There we go. Thank you. My good man. Yikes, I, I hope everything came out with me. Well, let's check our pockets then, shall we? We have, uh... It's your trusty whisk broom and dust pan. Good to know. And... That's your current Buckazoid collection. But we only have one Buckazoid. God damn it. Alright, let's have a look around then, shall we? And uh, see what's happening. How about him? This guy looks like a vertically challenged Darth Vader. What does a thing like that do for fun? Probably kill people with the force. Anyway. Fire burns inside barrels along the streets. Apparently those using them are residents of planets a bit closer to the suns that they orbit. The temperature seems quite moderate to you, but then you do fancy yourself a studly guy. 
Too bad no one else shares that opinion. Indeed. Rats, the cinema appears to be closed. You were really hoping to see Tango and Cash 27. Oh, the way, look, even, even Gary Owens had a bit of a laugh at that one. Let's have a look at this bike here. That's an interesting piece of hardware. Your normally dim power of recollection actually recalls having seen a picture of one of these in the ship library. Get this. It's called a bike. People used to actually get on these and use their own muscles to achieve locomotion. What losers. I know. Upon closer inspection, you notice some sort of ID card hanging on the frame. Ooh, an ID card. We could certainly use that. Yes, I'll take the ID card. <coughs> Upon grabbing the ID card, you notice the picture on it is of a rather homely looking alien type. Yes, everyone can't be as fortunate as you. What does the alien look like? Oh, yeah. Bit, uh, creepy. It's the alien ID you snagged from that rusty bike. That's a fairly hideous picture of the former owner. It makes the average Department of Motor Vehicles photographer look like Ansel Adams. Cool. I guess. So! It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Yes, let's... I am... Uh, because oh, I need to use my feet. Let's have a walk around, shall we? And see what we can find. Maybe something good. Ooh. There's a photo booth here. Oh, I could definitely use a new picture, you know. Rogers, Rogers, uh, age, bit in the age department here. By your touch. Oh yeah, well, will it be unmoved by money? Yeah. You pop a coin in the slot and climb on in. All right, I'm looking pretty good. Fire away. Yeah, hey, getting our picture taken. Oh, four for a buckazoid. Jeez, that was nice. There's got to be an optics problem with that machine. I, I look uh, partially digested. Oh. Uh. Yeah, but he's all, okay. We just got eaten by a photo Good booth. Thing you didn't opt for that second set of prints after all. Guess that guy won't be filing any complaints with the Portable Business Association. Indeed they won't. Well, let's have a look and see the pictures. Oh yeah, those pictures are awesome, Roger. And do you know what we can do? Which for some reason we can get away with? Using the photo on the security ID. You quite cleverly paste your picture over the old one on the ID card. Why did you pick that one, Roger? <laughs> what an ID photo, mate. What an ID photo. So, let's have a, a quick look around here and uh, see what else we can find, I guess. Uh, nothing here for the moment. Ooh. Yes, there is, actually. You right, mate? Hey. Uh, I wonder if you... Nah, what was I thinking? Oi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, buddy, maybe you can help me out. I'm trying to track down this ender droid. I'm an ender droid runner. I know they'll look so hot, but... I'm in disguise, you know? In disguise? Yeah, you do look disguised. I just don't know what like. Hey, here's a tip. Think seriously about a flea dip. I could really use your help getting this one. I've had a hell of a time tracking him down. You've got to help me. Tell you what. If you can find and immobilize this bionic beer opener, it's worth 50 buckazoids to you. What do you say to that? I've scoured this dung heap. And haven't seen synthetic hide in a hair of it. All that's left to check is that bar. I'd go in there myself, you see, but I've had a little misunderstanding with the management. No biggie. I'm sure it'll blow over soon. Anyway, can you help me out? What do you say? Fifty buckazoids. And if you don't mind me saying it, you look like you could use it. So how about it? Well, I don't know. What's this Indodroid thing look like? And why do you want it? Well, he's about your height. Only maybe a few inches higher. And I'd say about your weight, give or take 60 pounds or so. But then that's just probably because of that stuff he's made of. 
kind of a liquid metal thing, but that's not important. He's got a crew cut, and I think he was wearing a long, dark coat. Has a strange accent. But why do you want him? Oh, he made some people mad. How? Oh, I guess he sort of jumped out of his program and kind of killed and or mangled a score or so of co-workers, and more importantly, management personnel. Big no -no. No big deal. I just gotta take him in for analysis and process. Could help pull me out of my, uh, unfortunate cash flow situation. And most importantly, it can mean 50 buckazoids for you. What do you say? Well, I could use the buckazoids. I'll see what I can do. Great. You won't regret it. You're gonna need this data corder. It's been modified to only be sensitive to certain unique components like droidium. Something only an endrodroid would be composed of. This will help you root them out. Good luck. Uh, I mean, uh, let me know when you've got it. All right. Thanks. I gotta go check in with the home office. I'll check back out here a little later to see how you're coming along. Yes, thank you, Blaine. Right, so he's off. So we got some interesting things here, like the Hotel Dewbeam. And implants and stuff. And... Definitely not a lady of the night. We will move on from that. Now there's an interesting sounding business name. You wonder what they sell? Probably implants and stuff. Wouldn't surprise me at all. All right, so let's go and check that bar, shall we? When Rogers stopped getting stuck on railings. Uh, but I guess we'll see if we can find this ender droid. There's definitely not Arnold. Definitely not uh, the Terminator again. They already did that in Space Quest Three. Why do you think they'd do it again? Oh, I'm allowed in. Can I have a chat with the, uh, the, the, the door octopus? Hello, uh, Mr. Bouncer? He pays very little attention. You're pretty used to it. But someday... Someday maybe I'll get the respect I deserve. I did in Space Quest V! Look what happened to that. Oh, wow. It would appear that once again, Vice is a bit more profitable than most business ventures. This place is almost too hip for the planet. But then, that's no mean feat, given what a total heap this place appears to be. Yeah, I know it's that. I know it's the fact that we're taking sure leave on a place that's just awful. Did you just wink at me? You cat! Oi! Hey, 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 hey there, guy. Come on now. Hey, hey, you can't come back here. Yeah, you want something? You, you let me know, all right? Sorry, misclick. Apologies, Mr. Barman. Alright, moving onwards. Okay. Ah, this does have a second floor. Good to know. With Eyeball Man over there. Alright. Well, we do have uh, a basement here. We must check the basement first. See if we can find this well, endodroid. Well, wasn't too bad for a borderline physical specimen like you. It didn't quite get the job done, though. Dented it, though! And again! Nah, you still haven't convinced the door to yield to your obviously superior physical presence. That's fine. One more will do it. Yeah! Wow, you really did it. Not exactly the subtlest of entry techniques, but effective. That's pretty macho for the likes of you. Who would have guessed you'd have the makings of a Starsky or a Hutch or a Tango or a Cash? And now he's reminding me that I missed Tango and Cash 27. God damn it. One more kick for good luck. All right, let's see what's in this basement, shall we? Oh. You go now, and I don't rearrange your organs. Yeah, that's definitely Arnold. Um, I'll just be taking this pipe down here. Definitely not to be using it against you later. And uh, I'll bid you good day, sir. I'll bid you good day. Don't need to fight you. <laughs> not at the moment, at least. Maybe later, but not yet. Let's go upstairs now. So we know where he is, but now how to get him is the key here. How do we get him? Okay, so what we got here? We got these two losers right here, just yucking it up and everything. We got these guys probably doing illegal stuff. That's all we can do with those guys. Oh, but first, I don't think we get a chance. No, maybe we will.
you snag a buckazoid off the waitron, how cool you are. Yeah, we have another buckazoid. We can use this security card. We are a polysorbate security. Well, according to the ID card. And we can show it to them. You hear them say, geez, our skimmers double hovered. We gotta run. Yep, they're out of here. Right, well, we can take some stuff here. We can, uh, for example, take these lovely hoses. You snag the four hoses. Never know when you're going to meet that special lady. Um, okay then. We can also take this canister here. And move it. For example, to here. This middle bit. You may not think this is useful, but it will be later. The canister snaps neatly into the conduit opening. Yes, it does. Yeah, that, well, those guys are having fun. They're yucking it up. They're, they're enjoying life. Look at them. They're laughing at someone. And it's not me for a change. Maybe it's the woman with massive bulging feet or something. I don't know. Right, well, anyway, guys. First episode done. We're about 20 odd minutes in. So I'm going to go for a break here. While we're in the bar, Orion's Gold. But anyway, guys, I'm going for a break here for the next episode of Let's Play Space Quest 6. We are going to finally get a drink. I will see you then.